What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. I've got another speed build for you. This is the stable and breeding room, which is a conversion of the original starting base for this season, which we made. And um, I believe this is its third conversion, which was always the intention. If you want to see that video, it's down below and I kind of explain there that I wanted to be able to convert it later on kind of thing. And um, I'm glad that was the decision because obviously the servers have been super busy and people building everywhere. So yeah, instead of me just keep continuously building new stuff around the island, um, it's handy to be able to convert stuff and this come out really, really well. So like I said, this is a stable and breeding room conversion or build. And um, yeah, it's going to, like I said, basically be an extension to the original base and converting the barn into a stable and with the addition of a breeding room. It ends up in an L shape, which I really like. The yard that the animals are currently in becomes bigger, which is nice. And we get even more crop plots. And um, yeah, I'm really loving my little garden. I love my vegetable garden, I'm getting loads of veg. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this I'm really happy with how this come out. If you want to follow along with the build, guys, I've been asked a few times about dimensions and stuff, and people want to know like all the different, you know, the amount of things I'm using, all that kind of stuff. Um, the foundations won't matter because obviously it depends what terrain you're on, and I've had to level out the build. But what I will do. If you join the Discord channel, I will put a new section in there for builds and I will make get a screenshot of this layout and I will um, put the dimensions of the build on there so you can get an idea of how many foundations long and wide this is and um, any other future builds and I'll try and go back through the ones that I've done and um, put them in there as well and hopefully that's helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, if you just want to jump to the tour at the end, there's a timestamp down below to go to the tour around the final build. And there'll also be a timestamp there to jump to the breeding room interior build so you can see how I laid it out and why I'm doing stuff. And if you just follow through the video, eventually you'll get to that part. And obviously I will... Um, go over it when we get there so yeah enjoy the video guys leave a comment down below let me know what you think if you've got any questions feel free to ask if you've got any suggestions feel free to make suggestions and if you just want to chat we'll do that too it's all good um, and obviously as well guys if you don't know I'm now doing plenty of live streams uh, multi streaming through YouTube and onto Twitch as well so you can follow me on Twitch Moshman Gaming if you'd rather watch streams on Twitch uh, trying to do one or two a week and obviously alongside the videos, one or two videos a week. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell so you don't miss videos and live streams. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video guys, and I will speak to you in a bit.
So here we go guys, I'm just starting to build the uh, breeding room, or what will become the breeding room. Um, I'm just going to lay it out, get the walls around so we've got an idea of where it is. And um, yeah, it's just basically a box, but um, yeah, because it's inside the stable, it doesn't look like a box at the end, which is what I like. I don't like boxes, it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's really practical um but like i said i'm just laying it out here so when we get round to it later it's already set out and um yeah we can just start laying out the interior
So with the pillars, guys, um, I like to do a pillar every other square. Um, most of the time, anyway. And sometimes I'll leave a bit of an extra gap if I think it'll look better. But most time, I just um, you know burn the resources and go a pillar every other tile, even with stone stuff, because it just saves a lot of headache later on. Wondering why your tiles are falling off or things are missing. Just don't be cheap. <laughs> Just go for the go for the pillars, get them all in, every other one, it looks good as well and um, yeah, you won't have no stability problems. So just there guys, you can see I'm putting in the uh, railings and then going along and then taking the middle two out. The reason I'm doing that isn't just to measure out where the door is going to go, but also because um, it makes snapping the railings in easier. Because, you know, like Ark and other games like this, when you're building, snap points are notoriously annoying and yeah, it's just a nice little way when doing something like this to make sure everything's going in the line you want it to and the right way around. So yeah, you can see there that railing didn't go where I wanted it to and when I picked it and placed it, it still didn't go. What you can do, which you'll, we'll see in a moment, um, is you can sometimes with things like that put in another wall or whatever it is above where the annoying one is like this and then when you pick it up and place next one in it will snap to the thing above it. Uh, it doesn't work with everything but it is a handy workaround and does work a lot of the time.
So here we go guys, the breeding room, this is the interior build. Um, so you can see I'm placing door frames around the first um, floor tile in. And then behind that we're going to place the grills. And the grills are what are going to help control the temperature if needed. This zone we're in is pretty good for breeding most things. But yeah, occasionally some things are going to be want to be hot. And yeah, that's what the grills are going to do. Um, I think there was 10... 11 in this all together um, like I said at the start I'll put a screenshot of this room on the discord along with the other builds that I mentioned at the start with the dimensions and how many grills and that I use etc so if you want to replicate it or you know just for reference then it will be there and um, the reason I'm putting a roof lower down on this is to just help govern heat. I don't know if it makes a difference, but you know, in my head, there's a ceiling there, it will help keep the heat in. And then finally, some ice boxes, which obviously haven't got ice in. We'll have to go to the polar region to get the ice if we need it. But again, might not need it, but it's there if we do. Here we go guys it's finished i love this build i'm really happy how it come out you can see there it still looks very similar to the original build but obviously extended and modified and yeah really happy how it come out you come straight in to what used to be the workshop into like a kitchen area with all the crops we've been farming plenty of food bags plenty of signage so we all know what everything is and plenty of ladders for any overflow um next that directly the first thing we come to was that a sentence i don't know i think it was <laughs> we've got the piggies and uh yeah the poop machines to make all the fertilizer with and um yeah these few pigs make a lot of fertilizer um and you know what i might get another pen filled with them because they're really good they're my pride and joy at the minute i make so much fertilizer with them and yeah they're definitely handy nice little bronze beard sign on the wall there and the hide collection point for these bad boys the little sheepies um unfortunately this is a complete sausage fest in here they're all males and i really want a female i wouldn't mind breeding a few sheep just for something to do and um yeah make loads and loads of sheep get loads and loads of hide Hide's not the hardest thing to get, of course, but it is nice to have a few sheep around. With just them few there, you get thousands of hide in no time at all, and you never have to worry about it. Next, them um, in this huge pen, we've got a lonely cow. I might have to move that into a smaller pen. Uh, then we've got Shooby Doo, the uh, giant ostrich that um, Shu from Crimson Crew gave us. And um, yeah, he's all on his own now. I might have to get a few more ostrich to go with him. And then we've got a couple more mount stables next door. That are empty in this video but now currently as i make this voiceover and edit in the video this is filled with tigers there's four tigers in here donated to us by uh, the cannonballers and nick buccaneer he was legendary and delivered them to me and uh another another bronze beard ink sign they can have, have enough and a nice little bed to spawn at and um yeah the end the end when we just walk past just here is now got bears in this is a tannery of course you can see that just to add to the aesthetics of the place really and also just because it's kind of handy and then the breeding room with all the grills all in place now and both the ice boxes the low ceiling just to keep the temperature in there i don't know if that does anything i don't think it does but it you know it looks looks good anyway so yeah um, can't wait to use that we're going to start by breeding some horses it's going to be the first thing we do and obviously there will be some um, breeding videos i really look forward to to doing that it's um be, well it'll be the first time i've done breeding on atlas so yeah it'll be really good fun can't wait so let's go out onto the deck where the crop plots are i did have that in the video but i cut it out to save a bit of time because it's just me placing crop plots not really much going on other than that um obviously there's the irrigation system for the 66 plots wheat chili turnips beet and potatoes you can see that's all irrigated the grill two reservoirs and all the pipe work um yeah i'll do a video at some point with the farming side of things the crop plots and all that kind of stuff and um, go over a bit of that thing that kind of thing 
Um, but yeah, like I said, we've got potatoes, we've got chilies and wheat just here. I might swap some of the wheat out for maize because I haven't got any. You can see here all the pipe work. We don't really need this on this island because we've got good weather. But you never know when you might get a few dry days and lose a few crop plots. So I just stick them in. Plus it looks cool. There's lots of different ways of doing it. I just do it above the ground like this. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll play around with it in another video maybe. Here you can see the beets and turnips. Sign there just to clarify, you know, so people know what's going on. And again, I might swap some of these out for something else. Um, we've got quite a lot of these already now. So, um, yeah, I do like this crop plots section. It's come in real handy so far. And, um, yeah, it just looks cool. And I enjoy doing the stuff with it, so it's good. And then the other thing I cut out of the video was this um, turret tower on the end here. Again, just to save a bit of time. And it's just um, a few triangle foundations snapped together to make the circle. And then, you know, you just go around the top with the ceilings above the first set of walls. And, uh, yeah, that gives it this shape. I wish I had done it this size all the way down, but, yeah, I didn't. And these are manned puckle guns, which is why I had to make it bigger than the original small tower that we had, which is why this bit here is narrow, because uh, they take up more room than the swivel guns. And there we go, guys. I will leave you with a few screenshots of the base lit up at night. I say base, you know, the bit we've just built, the stables and breeding room uh, looking cool at night time with all the lights on. Like I said, really happy with how this came out, mainly because of the transition that this particular building has gone through from start base to stable and breeding pen has been very, very helpful. And uh, it's been kind of good fun to mess around with and build and, you know, change it here and there. It's been, it's been good. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, and ring the little bell so you see when I go live, because I'm doing live streams more and more, and um, yeah, obviously for the weekly videos as well. If you'd rather watch streams on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch, Moshman Gaming on there. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out links in the description, particularly the link to Moshman's Tavern discord channel where like i said i will put the dimensions of this build and others for reference if anyone wants to follow along because i've been asked for that stuff before so um, yeah i'll just start doing it up there and i will go back through my previous builds and try and do the same for them and uh, it'll just be handy to have it on discord i just feel like that'd be the best place for me to do that anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time